Now these are magic cards known as a Svengali deck. This is a routine that I use. It looks like a regular deck. Now I wonder if you could help me, uh, this gentleman here, will you reach in and take a card, anyone you like, show it to the camera, and you won't forget that uh, seven of clubs, will you? You, we British are clever, you know, that's how we won the empire. Now that we got the seven in the middle, goes in the center like that. All you do is you knock on the door. Would you knock on the door, please? It does answer the door. You can have that card as a souvenir. No, no, it's over here. <laughs> anyway, I do have a seven somewhere. The question is, where? Where is the seven of clubs? It could be absolutely anywhere in the deck. You know where the seven is. Lift off half the deck, would you? Seven of clubs we want. Congratulations, you're psychic. Now, there's a bit more yet. What about this one? On the top of the pack, I've got the ace. Would, it, would you just blow on the ace? I'll give a little rub, and look, it changes to the seven. Air pressure, that's the secret. Now, in the middle, we have the seven. On the top, we have the nine. If I put the nine down here, the seven in there, why do I have the seven down here, the nine up there? Yes, I am rather brilliant. I don't know why I'm poor. Now we come to the best part of the trick, the dramatic moment. Now watch. You can cut the pack here. You can cut the pack here. You can cut the pack here or here. You can even cut the pack here. Or even here, 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 or anywhere you want. Where would you like the seven rich pile? Touch one. There. Do you wish to change your mind? You, you, or you don't like the mind you have? You can have it there if you wish. Where do you want this? Oh, here. Oh, have it anywhere you like. I don't mind it. It makes no difference to me. You can have it here, you can have it here, you can have it here, 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 or you can even, even have it here. Now, you may say to me, aha, yes. You may say to me, oh ho, yes. You have more than one seven of clubs, you may say. No, I am not using more than one seven of clubs. No, 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 no. You can see that they are all different. If I were using more than one seven of clubs, it would look like that, wouldn't it? But it does not look like that, does it? No. It looks like that, doesn't it? I'm going to show you one more trick now, the best one. The trick you're going to see is worth the price of the book on its own. And I'll tell you about the book in a minute. Now you see every single card, uh, this is where we do it, every single card in the pack is different. Every one is utterly and absolutely different. Now what we do is remarkably simple. We take the top card, the seven of spades, not clubs, that's spades. Run it through there, it changes by magic to the seven of clubs. Don't worry, you can have as many, as many sevens as you want. Here a seven, there a seven, everywhere a seven, everywhere a seven. Now you may say to me, well what about the eight on the front? Don't worry about the eight on the front, put that one on the front. And believe it or not, it changes back to a regular deck, which is madly exciting. Now that's the, the routine that I use. This is the book, uh, the long and the short of it. It's got uh, illustrations. If you can read, you'll be able to do the, 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 the trick. If you cannot read, we do give you lots of pictures. Uh, and it's rather wonderful. And it's a routine which I've been doing for about uh, 325 years. So anyway, but I am going to now show you something known as a rehash, because Pitchman, uh, when, uh, at the end of the demonstration, sometimes people have the audacity not to buy them. So you have to keep continuing to doing more, more material. So here's what I call a rehash trick, and it goes like this. When you buy a pack of, uh, no, no, that's not how it goes. I'm, I'm trying to get my memory back in, in, in operation. Uh, now, wait a minute, it goes like this. Um, okay. When you, uh, uh, oh, my brain's gone. My brain will come back shortly, ladies and gentlemen. It's very early in the morning while we're doing this. When you buy a pack of these, don't go up to your friends and say, look, Bill, I've got a whole pack of sevens of clubs. You won't win the money that way. I'm going to show you how you can steal, sorry, I mean, win money with these cards. So don't show your, say, look, Bill, I've got a whole pack of sevens, because you won't win the money that way. Do it like this. You say, Bill, take a card. Pretend you're Bill. So Bill takes a card. Bill takes a seven of clubs, of course. 
but don't tell Bill you know his card. What you do is this. Cut the pack once or twice and say, Bill, I've got your card on the top. Show him that card. He'll say, that's not my card. You say, I bet you $10 that's your card. He'll reach into his pocket so fast for the money. I've seen them tear their underwear trying to get the money out fast enough to cover that bet. I've seen grown men break their arms reaching into the pocket for the money. Because when you turn it over, it's a seven. So Bill loses $10. Now what happens if Bill's a sore loser and he lies to you and he says, I didn't pick the seven? Well, don't call him a liar. Just say, all right, Bill, if you didn't pick the seven, if you didn't pick the seven, would you mind telling me which of these you did pick? Because they all look like sevens to me. Look at that. Here are seven. Oops, today, we all make mistakes. My mother made one. Here, look at that. Here are seven. There are seven. Everywhere are seven. Now, if you don't want all those sevens, all you do is you say, I don't want the sevens. And believe it or not, it changes back to a regular deck. Now, if you really want to confuse Bill, bet him another ten dollars. You can change it back to sevens. And by the time you're finished, poor Bill won't know what he's been smoking or drinking. Because here are seven, there are seven, everywhere are seven, and uh, that's the whole jolly lot. That's the Spengali deck, and it's weird, it's wonderful, and it's put out by um, by Mark Lewis and the Browser's Den. May God bless and keep you, because I can't afford to. Thank you very much.